Today's topic of discussion is a problem for the subject PEN from the chapter IC Engine Testing and Pollution Control. This question was asked in winter 13. The problem is as follows. In a test on single cylinder oil engine working on four stroke cycle, the following readings are taken. Indicated MEP 755 kPa, cylinder diameter 10 cm, piston stroke 15 cm, engine speed 8 rps. Brake wheel diameter 62.5 and net load on brake wheel is 170 Newton. Calculate indicated power, brake power and mechanical efficiency of the engine. As here brake wheel diameter is given and net load on brake is given, we can judge that this is Prony brake dynamometer. So we have to use the formula accordingly. Okay, so let's start by writing the given data. So we will write the given data. Okay, so we have been given single cylinder. So K is equal to 1. Then we have been given the cylinder diameter that is 10 centimeter. So we can convert it into meter. So it is 0.1 meter. We have been given that piston stroke that is capital L is 15 centimeter. So we have to convert it into meter. So this will be 0.15 meter okay then we have been given indicated MEP that is PM is equal to 755 kPa so we have to convert it into bar so we can write this as 7.55 into 10 raised to 2 and since it is kPa so we can write this as 10 raised to 3 Pa so we will get 7.55 into 10 raised to 5 okay and newton per meter square so we can write this as 7.55 bar okay so now we have pm in bar okay then n n we have been given rps but we require it in rpm so we have to multiply this by 60. So we will have 480 RPM. Okay. And then we have been given brake wheel diameter that is DB is equal to 62.5 centimeter. So we will convert it into meter. So 0.625 meter. And we have been given net load that is W minus S as 170 Newton. So this is the given data okay so with this we have to start our problem and also it is given that it is four stroke cycle so our n will be equal to n divided by 2 since it is four stroke cycle okay if it is two stroke cycle so small n will be equal to capital n so in this case it is small n is equal to n by 2 so now to start with first we will calculate small n small n is equal to n by 2 and n is given as 8 rps which we have calculated into rpm as 480 so this will be 480 divided by 2 that is 240 now first we will calculate the area area of cylinder so area will be pi by 4 d square and d we have calculated as 0.1 meter so pi by 4 into 0.1 square so here we got it as 7.853 into 10 raised to minus 3 okay 10 raised to minus 3 meter square so now we got a now we have to calculate indicated power as asked in the question so indicated power the formula is 100 k pm l a small n divided by 60 so this is 100 into 1 into pm that is 7.55 into l which we have calculated as 0 0.15 0 0.15 and then a which we have calculated as 7.8 5, 3 into 10 raised to minus 3 
and then small n that is 240 okay and now divided by 60 okay so indicated power we got it as 3.56 kilowatt okay now second is brake power so for brake power the formula is w minus s okay into pi db into n divided by 60 so net load we have been given as 170 into pi and db we calculated as 0.625 and capital n we got it as 480 okay and then divided by 60 okay so we got brake power as 2.67 kilowatt actually we will get it in watt and then we have to divide by 1000 to get it into kilowatt and now the third thing which we need to calculate is mechanical efficiency mechanical efficiency will be brake power upon indicated power so 2.67 divided by 3.56 and we will get it as 0.75 that is equal to 75 percentage so this was the problem which was asked in winter 13 okay so this was the question okay and this is the solution okay first we calculated small n then we calculated capital a that is area of the cylinder then we calculated indicated power using the formula okay and then we calculated brake power so all we got in watt then we divided by thousand just to write it in kilowatt and then we found mechanical efficiency which is brake power upon indicated power so we got 0 0.75 which is 75 percent hope you like the video we will again meet in the next video very soon till then goodbye